back with another video. Sorry, I had to change my hair from the last video because like that wig was just making me cringe beyond belief. Like I felt like I looked like, oh my God, I don't even know. But this is gonna be a Q&A video. I posted this Q&A on my Twitter, like my Twitter, my Instagram, like a while ago. So yeah, sorry guys, it's just, sorry. I have no excuse. All right, so I'm just gonna get right into it. That was so cringe, I'm sorry guys. If there are any repeat questions from my previous video, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read them. Cause I don't wanna bore you guys. Okay, how old do you want to be when you retire? I love you by the way. Thanks, I love you too. Um, I don't know for real, like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I would be bored if I truly retired. You get what I'm saying? Like, I, like, I don't know what age I would wanna be. Um, hopefully, I don't know like <laughs> hopefully I just see myself doing a job that isn't really hard work but it's something that I love to do that I would not want to retire from you get what I'm saying so I don't really have like an ideal age like of when I want to retire like I haven't even started building up my 401k yet like I don't know I don't know man I don't know man. how would you say if YouTube has influenced your life and or changed your life for the better okay this is a good question YouTube has definitely influenced me to be a hard worker. I'm not saying that I'm not already a hard worker as it is. Like I have multiple jobs. I, I do a lot. Like, okay, time management is my best friend. But I will say that YouTube has influenced me to like be more consistent, not slack on my artwork just because I work a nine to five. Like it's, it's influenced me to try harder so that I won't have to be where I'm at right now in the future like and I know like YouTube is low-key dying like you can't live off of YouTube anymore but I know that somebody out there is going to see my work and will want to put me somewhere you get what I'm saying like so I'm just working towards the long term if that makes any sense whatsoever once you become a huge youtuber which you will <laughs> thank you what are your plans for that like a clothing brand or a shoe collection so if YouTube if my platform does prosper and gives me the ability to actually create a brand i would definitely want to make a booty child brand like i would love to have clothing artwork for sale i would like to do commission pieces so like custom things and like i'm already doing that but i just want it to be on a grand scale like you get what i'm saying like i want it to be where somebody can notice my art and immediately recognize my style and say hey that's a booty child piece i want my artwork to be something that somebody has in their living room that they can give to like their little cousin and then that shit will gain in profit in a few years and they just give it to more kids and more kids so they can cash out when shit hits the fan like you get what i'm saying i just want it to be something bigger than a logo on a t-shirt or just somebody bitching in front of a camera like i do like <laughs> what are you most excited for this fall any future plans to be honest, I'm just ready for it to get cold. I'm tired of this shit. Like, literally, I'm tired of this shit. Like, I'm ready for the, it usually gets cold in Florida, like end of October. So I guess technically that would be winter. Damn, well I ain't excited for shit this fall. This doesn't even get cold. All it does is storm here in the, in the fucking South. Like, well in Florida anyway, cause it's hurricane season as I mentioned in my last video. Like, if you had a choice to choose your birthday, what day? When is your actual birthday? I love my birthday. Like my birthday is June 6, 96. Like I think that shit is catchy as fuck. If any of you guys believe in numerology, I see sixes everywhere. No demonic shit, that's just my number. I see sixes everywhere. I see dividends of sixes. I see twelves and I'll do six or I'll see threes or I'll see nines and I flip it upside down to six. Like it's just my lucky thing. And if you guys ever believe like in soulmates or anything like that, like, Literally, before I met Daniel, I would always see 222 everywhere. And I just thought that shit was weird because I'm like, two isn't my number, but I'm seeing it everywhere, like everywhere. And then I met Daniel and he told me like, that's the number he sees everywhere. He always sees 222, 222 everywhere. So I really believe in numerology like a lot. But then there's also that other thing where it's like your brain pinpoints what it wants to focus on. Cause like, for example, think of the car that you have. Don't you see that car everywhere? Now, think of an old car that you used to have. Didn't you see that everywhere? Do you see it now? You know what I'm saying? 
So I don't know, it's confusing, but like, I, I, I strongly believe in numerology and I love my birthday. I feel like it's significant to me. It is what it is. If you weren't a YouTuber, what else would you want to pursue? Um, I don't know. I've always wanted to do something in social media and I just feel like YouTube was like my perfect platform. Like, I tried the whole Tumblr thing. I got really popular on Tumblr, but I just didn't, I don't know. I just felt like, uh, 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 I don't know. I grew out of it. But I feel like YouTube is perfect because you can grow with your audience and your audience can see you grow. I just feel like it's very intimate. Like you guys can actually see me sitting here talking instead of looking at my pictures on Instagram and imagining a personality for me. You get what I'm saying? So I don't really know what other platform I would be on. I really like YouTube a lot. Okay, this isn't a Q&A, this is like a mini advice, so I'm not gonna ramble on this, but it says, how do you tell your friend that she should leave her man who keeps hurting her in the same way and never learns from his mistakes without coming off as controlling? You can, because all your friend is gonna think is that you being a hater and blah, blah, blah. You don't think that your friend knows that she's getting treated shitty. Like, it's all a personal experience to drop negative in your life. So don't be nagging her or telling her shit she already know. Just leave her alone. Describe your aesthetic using pop culture, TV shows, movies, music, etc. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like, um, like Daria mixed with like i don't know i really like daria though daria's that bitch i feel like i act like daria but i'm nicer <laughs> i'm more nicer and less judgmental i feel like i act like daria i feel like i'm a mixture of like daria and then mandy off of billy and mandy and then like fucking who else who's a sweet person and then like bubbles off of the powerpuff girls <laughs> So like, I'm a mixture of all three Powerpuff Girls, pretty much. But yeah, I don't know, that's a really, really good question. I feel like my aesthetic is like, I don't know, a gothic club kid from the 90s. How did you tell your mom about your sexuality or how did you figure out you like both guys and girls? Okay, so, joke's on me because I never like formally came out to anybody. I always just thought that that was my fucking business. Like, I don't see why it's such a big, deal to come out you get what i'm saying like if i come home with a girl one day i come home with a girl one day i mean like i just don't feel like it's a huge deal like do you have to come out to your parents as being straight like what the fuck like i don't get it but for a long time i was really confused about my sexuality for a long time and i was really scared about my sexuality because i thought that i was a lesbian until i was around like 13 14 years old and I remember my mom had the talk with me and um, a little bit after the talk, we were walking in a park and there were two girls holding hands and they were like snuggled up with each other. And I remember asking her, I'm like, what are they doing? And she was just like, oh, well, they're a couple. And I'm like, they're a couple? What the fuck? She was like, yeah, they're a couple, they're lesbians. And I'm like, oh, okay. And my mom's just like, if you ever feel like that is what you want i'm not gonna criticize you i'm not gonna treat you any differently they look like they're in love and if that makes you happy that makes you happy and i was just like oh all right and then like as i got older like literally i didn't realize that men were attracted to me until i was like 13 or 14 years old and then i got my first boyfriend when i was like 15 or 16 and even then i was a really late bloomer with men like well, boys, these little ass boys, girl. You already know these little ass boys. I was a really late bloomer. I was very, very confident sexually with girls because I felt experienced. But when it came to guys, I was just like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's that. I don't want to get too rated R. But no, I have not officially come out. But if someone were to ask me about my sexuality, I would tell them. And I'm like that with anybody. I do not wear my sexuality on my sleeve. It just is what it is. I don't feel like it's a big deal unless I am sleeping with you. So yeah, that's, that's that. How did you discover your style? Um, well, my style has evolved throughout my life. Like I just mix and match things. I find out what I like to do in the time being. Um, I don't know. I just do what makes me feel comfortable to be honest. How do you cut someone in your life off? Someone you've been close to for a while, but then you've grown out of them. 
Okay, I'm gonna make a whole video on this because you guys ask me about this a lot because all of the people I make story times about, I am no longer friends with them. I've cut all of them off. Like, as you guys can tell, I'm very hyper today. I'm very hyper right now. I mean, I'll make a whole video on that. If you guys want me to make a whole video on how to cut people off, because I've recently cut off somebody I have known for 13 years. My best friend for 13 years, okay? Leo, yes. So if you guys wanna know that, let me know. I will make a whole video, because that's not something that I can answer in this short amount of time. Do you remember or recognize subscribers' names? Say if I were to bump into you and I said my name, would you recognize my name? Just curious. Um, if you were to bump into me and you said your name, I probably wouldn't. But if I see you on my live stream and my comments, I recognize you, if that makes any sense. Damn, I have a lot of questions on how I came out to my family in this. Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> what did you do to help you gain weight? I was a strict 89 to 79 for my teenage years until my doctor had to put me on protein bars and shakes to help me to get to an average size. So to be honest, um, I'm contemplating on whether I should make a video on this or not because I do not want to trigger anybody, um, but I did have an eating disorder throughout high school and um, I was just very, very small. The combination of not eating, doing drugs, and being stressed all the time, I just wasn't gaining any weight. Um, I was stressed all the way into college, not eating, doing drugs, stress. I wasn't doing as much drugs in college because I needed to be a little bit more mentally aware for something I was paying for. So the drugs weren't as bad, but the eating, definitely not eating, um, stress. Then um, when my first year out of college, I started working more stress because I'm trying to build money to get out of my mom's house. Um, so still skinny, a little bit heavier than before. I think I was a solid like, 120 125 which was healthy for my height i'm 5'2 so i wasn't super skinny but i was still small um an average weight to be honest then um but i was still stressed so i wasn't retaining any weight i was still stressed and then literally literally once i cut all these people off and then i found a healthy relationship i started gaining weight like i just started gaining weight out of nowhere and all the old head bitches always tell me like oh that's happy weight that's happy weight or whatever or they be saying some sexual shit but we're not going to talk about that we're, we've had enough sexual talk in this qa okay so yeah basically i just started gaining weight i also went on a heavier dosage of birth control um and i feel like that contributed to it as well i gained a lot of weight boo boo i know i look small on camera but i'm a little thickums if you see my lip my look book i'm i'm a little thickums i'm like a little cupcake okay and like to be honest because of my eating disorder it took me a long time to be okay with my current body like a long time like i want to say months until like because it's weird when you have an eating disorder it's like you see something in the mirror that's completely different from what's going on in real life. Like I look back at my old pictures and I'm like, damn bitch, you was a, a twig with a bobblehead on top and you still thought she was not small. Like what the fuck? Literally all I did was I just eliminated the stress from my life. I guess birth control contributed to that to that as well. I stopped doing drugs. So then I started eating on my own pattern instead of like smoking weed, becoming hungry and then eating. You get what I'm saying? So once I quit drugs, cold turkey, eliminated the stress out of my life, I just started gaining weight. Um, if you guys do want to see a video on my eating disorder, I don't want to trigger anybody because I don't literally i don't have a problem telling the story i just don't want to hurt anybody else because i do know there are people on the internet with eating disorders because i was one of them sorry my camera died but yeah like i was saying they will purposely watch videos to learn tips and tricks and shit and that wouldn't be the type of video that i would post it's going to be a recovery video if i were to post it i just don't want to trigger anybody with my before pictures so if you feel like you would be triggered by that let me know if you feel like you would be fine let me know so I can make the video or not make the video. It's completely up to you guys because I'm comfortable telling the story. What is your favorite holiday? Halloween, Thanksgiving, or Christmas? Halloween, bitch. I love Halloween. I love scary movies. I love those little cookies that look like the pumpkins and the ghosts. They taste good as fuck. I love dressing up in costumes. I love hot costume parties. I love scary shit. I love Halloween so much. Like that is my shit 
Thanksgiving is cool or whatever because you know big girls gotta eat but fuck that I love Halloween because I am a scary movie junkie like I love it so much and then I, I don't know if you guys like notice because I'm dressed in all neutrals right now but I'm like a borderline gothic so all these cute little accessories that I buy and wear you around like I love Halloween if you could be in any career what would it be and why to be honest, I would want to write scripts and direct movies. Like, I love to write. Not a lot of people know that about me. I've won multiple awards for writing. Um, I'm really good with words. I may speak like a fucking hoodlum, but I'm actually very good with words. I, my main idol is Quentin Tarantino. Like, I love his script writing style. I love all of his work. Like, I would really want to make some movies like that. Like, for real. That's like my little, my little dream that I got going on. When did you get into art? I've always been an artistic person ever since I was a child. Everyone in my family does sports, so I was a black sheep. I love to write, I love to draw, I love to create things. Um, I've always been that way. I can't remember a time where I didn't love art class over PE or whatever the fuck, so yeah. All right guys, that is all the questions that I have for the day. Um, if I did not get to your question, it's only because it's already been asked, so yeah. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you are not getting any notifications, make sure that you follow me on Twitter because every time I post on YouTube, it goes directly to my Twitter. Oh, and a side note, me and Daniel's channel is not dead. We're just having a hard time <laughs> having an off day together where we can sit and film. But we just bought um, a whole bunch of international foods and some other things that we could do challenges with. So. We're, we're, we gonna vamp it up. We gonna vamp it up for y'all. Because a lot of you guys have been asking us to like not abandon the channel. So yeah, we're not gonna abandon the channel. All right guys, thanks for watching.